welcome friends welcome to total outward power solutions please subscribe us and join for the reducing in the fuel reducing in the fuel consumption and thereby reducing the co2 emissions here today we will discuss about the efficiency reduction of boiler and thereby how the savings can be achieved first of all we will check up with the auxiliary consumption of the boiler and then we will calculate the savings due to increase in boiler efficiency the table shows the typical auxiliary consumption for 4 into 210 megawatt power plant common systems the power plant common systems are generally ash handling plant coal handling plant air compressors cooling water systems and water treatment plants the energy consumption for each of these is mentioned in the table the total energy consumption for the total common systems is around 212.03 megawatt hours per day this has been calculated for per day the calculation was done from a efficiency test which was conducted the performance test which was conducted at a plant which is having 4 units of 210 megawatt each the high tension auxiliary consumption unit wise per unit was also noted was also noted and the unit wise in house system boiler feed pumps then condensate extraction pumps induced draft fans fd fans primary air fans cooling water pumps mills so the total in house high tension auxiliary consumption for one unit was 1362.7 megawatt hours per day this is unit wise for one unit the then there are again transformers from ht to lt conversion transformers so the auxiliary consumption for common that is for common systems 4 into 210 megawatt the auxiliary transformer losses then generate there is a gen, generator transformer so all the four units there is a generator transformer then unit and station transformers network losses and other loads such as lighting and other loads which may be common to all the systems the total of trans, the transformers and lighting loads was measured around 189.467 megawatt hours per day so the total auxiliary consumption for the all plant that is 4 into 210 megawatt thermal power station the total auxiliary power was 1764.197 megawatt hours per day whereas the total generation if the sets are running at 210 megawatt they would generate 5.04 million units per unit and the total generation was 20340.96 megawatt hours per day the percentage wise if we calculate the auxiliary consumption was coming out to be around 8.67% of total generation now we will study what would be the savings due to increase in boiler efficiency suppose we have a plan and some uh, some methods due to which we can increase our boiler efficiency then what would be the savings in the terms of rupees in term monetary say, cost that we will discuss just now now the when the boiler efficiency increases there will be some decrease in the fuel consumption now if the boiler efficiency the table depicts the boiler efficiency increase from 80 to 84.5% in stages suppose the boiler efficiency is 80% and from 80% because of some methods that we adopted it in rises to 84.5% then the that is what is depicted in the table 
the generation per day is 5040 megawatt hours per day per unit the turbine heat rate is 1940 which has been taken common for all the uh, for all the efficiencies increase in boiler efficiencies the unit heat rate has decreased from 2425 to 229586 when the boiler efficiency is increased to 84.5 percent it means the reduction in the heat rate is of the order of around 129 kilocalories per kwh if the fuel gcv is constant that is 4500 kilocalories per kg then the fuel consumption or the fuel rate of consumption would decrease from 5.539 to 0.510 kg per kilowatt hour so for 210 megawatt the daily fuel consumption per unit which would have been saved if the boiler efficiency would have increased from 80 to 82 percent from 82 to 83 percent and from 80 to 84.5 percent the maximum 80 to 84.5 percent the saving would have been 144.639 tons per day per unit so each unit you would have saved 144.639 this much tons of coal for this the fuel gcv the generation and the turbine heat rate has been supposed to be constant if i yes saving in coal handling plant and milling plant now if the saving is there in the fuel then there would be some saving in the coal handling plant also the coal handling plant as well as the milling plant so considering 4 into 210 megawatt units and the boiler efficiency increase again from 80 to 84.5 the reduction in coal quantity handling would be 144.639 per tons per day now the auxiliary power required for handling of coal per ton has been calculated from the auxiliary consumption of the chp which has been used for the whole ton and it comes out to be around 0.002044 megawatt hours per ton per day so the total reduction in the auxiliary power would be around 0.296 megawatt hours per day if the boiler efficiency increases from 80 to 84.5 percent similarly the auxiliary power required for milling after the chp it comes into the milling section and here also the because the coal the fuel has decreased there would be reduction in auxiliary power and which would account to around 9.684 megawatt hours per day so as the total auxiliary power reduction due to the fuel reduction that is coal reduction would account to around 9.980 megawatt hours per day the as the fuel has reduced similarly there will be reduction in the ash that will be handled by the ash handling plants so there will be reduction in the ash handling plants also auxiliary reduction uh, auxiliary consumption reduction now if you consider a plant again we consider a plant of 210 megawatt 4 into 210 megawatt and the boiler efficiency has risen from 80 to 84.5 percent the now the ash handling ash handling cost per ton of coal it comes out to be around 0.00418 megawatt hours per ton of coal now here we have assumed that there is 40 percent of ash in coal it may decrease or increase depending on the ash percentage in the coal so that can be calculated as per the data the, therefore the reduction in auxiliary consumption in ash handling per day would be around 0 0.605 megawatt hours per day if the boiler efficiency increases from 80 to 84.5 percent the consumption of coal is 2716 tons per day for each mill of 210 megawatt when the boiler efficiency was 80 percent now reduction in auxiliary consumption because of the reduction in fuel 
because the fuel has reduced the air required and the flue gas that would have been produced will also be reduced and that is why the auxiliary consumption would also reduce in both these sides so the amount of air that is required for burning the coal the total air that is required is theoretical air plus the excess air so approximately it comes out to be six the air total air requirement comes out to be around 6 kg per kg of coal burnt so that much 6 kg per kg of coal burnt so if the kg of coal burnt is less this would also be lesser so air required to be handled if it was 80% the air required to be handled was 16296 tons per day and it has reduced to 15428.17 tons per day when the boiler efficiency increases to 84.5% so there is a reduction of around 867.83 tons per day now we know the auxiliary consumption of id fd and fans and primary air fans that could be added together so that they have handled that much of air and the auxiliary power for air handling would be reduced from 349.08 megawatt hours to 330.49 megawatt hours per day so the reduction in the power for handling of air per day would be 80, 18.59 megawatt hours per day now considering all these savings considering all these savings there will be saving in daily fuel consumption then there will be saving in total auxiliary power reduction due to uh, coal due to fuel then reduction in auxiliary consumption in ash handling then handling of reduction in auxiliary power for handling of air and the total auxiliary power reduction due to increase in efficiency that would give you around and the saving yes, so that would give you around 29.175 megawatt hours per day because of the boiler efficiency increase now if we take the electricity cost at rupees 3000 per megawatt hour that means rupees 3 per kilowatt hour or 3 rupees 3 per unit it would come out to be around it is 7525 rupees per day for one one plant so the total saving no it would come to around 73000 738400 rupees per day per unit so the message is so think of saving coal think of reducing cox nox think of saving environment and think of saving money thanks so please subscribe and like the channel thanks once again